Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating 10 different cards using this Simon Says Stamp March Card Kit. In the kit, there is this bag of uh, yellow sequins, an adorable stamp set which is called My Kind of Peep, as well as the matching dies. There are also two watercolor printed cards, 6x6 pattern papers, with adorable colors, just love them for spring. You also get a random color of uh, Distress uh, Crayon by Tim Holtz. I got the Mermaid Lagoon, not shown at the moment, but uh, I actually didn't use it on my cards. And as usual, there are five different colors of cardstock. So to create 10 different card bases, I'm going to take the cardstock included in the kit. I'm just going to cut out in half everything. And this is going to create 10 different card bases. So let's get started with card number one. For the first two cards, I'll go with the obvious, so you can just use those uh, designs on the watercolor paper, and color them and just stick them on top of uh, a card base. Just to take it a little bit further, I am going to uh, try a different uh, thing here. So I am using this uh, uh, panel and I'm going to cut out a smaller version of this uh, design. And um, you can actually use uh, your uh, paper trimmer to do so if you don't have this uh, rectangular die. So now I have this uh, design, which is uh, slightly smaller than a card base, and this is going to give me the opportunity to have a nice frame around my design. Now I'm going to use my scissors and cut out the upper part of the design. I'm just going to show you where I'm going with. So I am going to take uh, my scissors and cut out along those lines. And once I have everything cut out, I'm going to use my creamies to color everything. Now, these are paints that activate with water. You just spray water on top and just color with your brush. They work like uh, watercolors. I want to keep everything quick and simple. And that's why I'm using this basic rainbow palette. And I will be using only those colors to color everything. Now, those uh, creamies have a nice touch just because they leave a beautiful shimmer on uh, your uh, paper. And uh, I hope I will be able to catch that on camera. Creamies come in a wide variety of colors. You can see on screen right now where you can order them and uh, when you check out, if you mention my name, just uh, write in the appropriate box Vicky, then they will send you an extra free paint along with uh, your order. So now I'm going ahead and uh, using uh, the red color to color my flowers and I will just go ahead and color everything. So now it's time for a giveaway. If you want to win this March card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. So anyway, I used all those colors, did some basic watercoloring, and uh, now that I have the design uh, ready, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. With the sentiment, I'm going with that uh, cute Hoppy Easter. And I'm just going to stamp it on uh, that area there with uh, black ink. I'm going to add some foam squares at the back and stick it on a white piece of cardstock. I am trying to make those cards by using only supplies in the kit. However, I do add some white cardstock, which I am sure that everybody has at home. So I'm going to stick that on one of the card bases that I have created. And there you see that I have a, a little bit of dimension. And I'm going to add some finishing touches by using my glossy accents on the nose as well as on the heart. And that is going to finish off my card. And I hope I can catch the shimmer of uh, the paint here. So that was the first card for today. Let's move on to card number two. Now again for the second card, I am going with the ob obvious here. I'm using again this uh, watercolor card. I am uh, going to cut it out slightly smaller than a standard card. So that is going to give me a nice frame. And again, I am uh, using the same colors. I'm just trying to keep everything simple and uh, quick. After coloring everything, I'm using my white gel pen to add uh, some uh, details here and there. 
And once I was happy with all those uh, doodling uh, things, I went ahead and added some foam tape at the back and I'm sticking it on one of the card bases that I have created previously. So that's uh, card number two, quick and easy. Let's move on to card number three. For this card, I am going to use two beautiful pattern papers and I am going to create a shaker card. So first of all, I am using those dies. These are stitch dies by Simon Says Stamp to create this uh, frame, as well as cutting out uh, of this uh, pink uh, paper a panel. I am going to add some tape adhesive at the back of the frame and stick uh, some acetate to create my window. And by using scallop dies by Simon Says Stamp, I did uh, cut out of white cardstock this uh, nice uh, curve. I am also going to use the dies included in the kit. And uh, here they are. I am going to use one of those to cut out a peep. And I think that the, they are just adorable. Now, if you are a card maker, I think that investing on a set of dies that uh, they are rectangular dies, and especially if they have that nice stitching, is uh, a great idea since uh, I find that I keep using those again and again. Now, if you don't have those dies that do that uh, scallop edge that I am using right now, then just use your scissors and cut out a nice curve. So my window is now ready. I'm going to go at the back and add some of the sequins that were included in the kit. I'm not adding too many. I'm going to peel off the tape adhesive that I have already added and I'm going to stick that panel on top. I'm not going to add any sentiment on this card just because this panel already has a uh, wording on, on it. It says uh, nice uh, things like uh, bunny and Easter and uh, spring, uh, April, May, chocolate bunnies and stuff like that. So I think that uh, they are appropriate for Easter. Now for the tail. I am using this uh, Marvy pen. This is a snow pen. So once uh, you apply that liquid on top, then uh, you can apply some heat and uh, you will see how this pops up. It gets puffy and uh, this is supposed to be snow, but I think it works perfectly fine for making a puffy tail. If you don't have this, you can always use uh, just a bit of... Um, cotton and create a little ball, a cotton ball, and stick it at uh, the back of your bunny. I used a tiny little foam square at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of my bunny. So I have, I have the, my adorable window ready. I'm just trying to see uh, what matches perfectly with my window. All these are the card pages that I have created in the beginning. And I decided to go with the green one. So I'm going to stick it on top by using some tape adhesive at the back and my card is ready. So let's move on to card number four. This is a piece of pattern paper that is a leftover from the previous card. So I'm going to use it now as my main panel. I am going to stamp the sentiment and this comes from the stamp set that was included in the kit. And I am using a nice colorful uh, ink pad and I am applying quickly clear embossing powder. So once I heat set that, it's going to be nice and shiny. So I have my sentiment there. Now I will go ahead and do some more stamping. I am going to stamp the biggest of the pips that come in that stamp set and I'm using again the same ink pad as I did for my sentiment. The ink pad that I am using is called Bubble Gum and it's by Hero Arts. So I am uh, going to stamp uh, the little face and uh, I think that they become adorable just uh, the moment you stamp that face there. And uh, I am also going to quickly apply that clear embossing powder that is going to make them look shiny once I heat set them. I am actually going to use only one of those but I did it twice just in case I mess up with uh, any of them. And since I have the dye in the kit I am going to use that to cut it out. And again, I am using some foam tape at the back to add some dimension. And I am going to spread some of those sequins uh, here and there. I'm just sticking them with my gel medium. I am using my white gel pen and I'm just uh, coloring the word hug. And this really makes a difference and it helps that sentiment pop even more. 
So now I'm going to work on my background to create a tone on tone look. I have used this tiniest of uh, the pips and I'm going to stamp it all around the edges with uh, my Versamark cake. And then I'm going to apply some uh, clear embossing powder. This is going to create an interesting background, but at the same time, it's not going to be too busy. So I'm applying my clear embossing powder, heat set everything. And once uh, everything is ready, I'm going to stick my panel with foam tape on top of my card base. And that was the fourth card. Let's move on to card number five. I have cut out this piece of pattern paper and I have also cut out a white uh, piece exactly the same sizes. I'm going to use this die and uh, I'm going to cut out a piece of uh, this white cardstock after I am going to stamp the sentiment. So to stamp the sentiment I am using my VersaFine ink which is nice and vibrant and now I'm going to use the die to cut it out. And if you don't have this die, it's so easy to make this shape. Just use a ball, draw a line, and there you have it. Just use your scissors and cut it out. Again, I have used some foam squares at the back to add some dimension, and I'm going to stick it at the very top of my yellow panel. Now I am stamping one of the pips again and again using Versamark, and I am going to white emboss it. I'm using bright white embossing powder and I'm going to heat set everything and once everything is there I'm just using my figure dabbers and apply some color with my distress ink. The colors of the distress inks that I have used are Span Sugar, Tumbled Glass, Shabby Satters and Spice Marmalade. So I'm using foam squares at the back and I'm going to stick them in a row. To cut them out, I have used the die that was included in the kit. So now I'm just making sure that everything is nicely placed. And I have a cute panel for my card. And just because I wanted to mat that with a pattern paper, I'm going to use this beautiful striped pattern paper. I'm going to stick the panel on top. And I'll just use my scissors around it, just making sure that I have a, a tiny little border. Of course you can just skip that uh, step and this is going to save you some paper. Now I'm going to stick it directly on top of a card base. And this is one of the card bases that I have created using the cardstock that was in the kit. So let's move on to card number 6. Now this is a fun card. I had this idea to create a mask using the dies in the kit. So I'm working on a scrap piece of paper now to create a mask. I have stamped the sentiment just to make sure that I have enough space for the sentiment in my main card and you will understand what I mean later on. So I'm just going to go back and forth using this die to cut out um, the design many times. And I'm just placing the die randomly all around that uh, piece of paper. And making masks out of the dies that you already have is a great way to make the most out of your dies. So I'm going to repeat this process until I cannot fit that uh, die anymore on that piece of paper. And I end it up with this uh, mask. I have cut out the exact same uh, size of uh, white cardstock and I'm going to to secure with some post-it tape one on top of the other so that it doesn't move once I apply my ink. I am going to color all those uh, pips with my span sugar. I'm just using my figure dabber to apply the color there and uh, if you go ahead and create the same card you can always use different colors for all of them. Just use pastel colors and I'm sure they are going to look fantastic. And again I'm just going to stamp the face for each one of those adorable pips and now I'm going to apply glass bead glitter gel. I'm applying it with my spatula and this is a product by Faber-Castell. Uh, it gives a beautiful shimmer and beautiful texture and those pips are going to look like uh, real candy. Now although it looks white at the moment it's going to uh, dry clear and uh, you will get a beautiful texture. So now I'm going to leave it to dry 
and I'm going to show you how it looks now that it's uh, dry. It just picks up the color from the ink at the bottom and they really look like uh, candy. So now I'm, I already have uh, that space there for stamping my sentiment and I'm going to stick that on top of the pattern paper. I am using some foam tape at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. And now that my main panel is ready, I'm using some uh, tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it on one of the card bases that I have made in the beginning. And that finishes the sixth card, so let's move on to card number seven. For this card I'm going to use these beautiful pattern papers and I'm going to cut this to be the exact size of a standard card, so that's so that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to use this uh, stitch die to cut out a panel. Now for the panel, I am going to do some fuzzy cutting and I am using one of the leftovers from uh, this pattern paper and I'm going to cut out a word that says spring. And I actually didn't use that one on uh, the card because that was with brown uh, letters, I believe. I finally used one with uh, that said spring, but uh, with orange letters. And I'm just cutting out three different hot air balloons. Now, although this looks uh, like a lot of work, it really isn't. It's uh, really easy to cut out those balloons. And uh, to tell you the truth, they are not really perfect. They look like they are, but they really aren't. So anyway, I have three of those there and uh, I have this piece of uh, vellum where I am going to stamp my sentiment. For the sentiment, I'm going with the word hugs out of a bigger sentiment that's in the stamp set and I'll just go ahead and use only that word. So I am going to stamp that at the center of my vellum and I'm going to white emboss it. So again, I am going to use my bright white embossing powder, that's by WOW, and uh, you will find links of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area. Now that I have my sentiment ready, I'm going to place it at the bottom of my blue panel and I'm going to secure it at the back with some tape. So now it's time to stick down uh, all the little details. So I'm using some uh, tiny foam squares at the back of the hot air balloons. I'm trying to decide where everything is going to go and I'm just going to stick them down. And this is where I decided that I wanted some uh, clouds for my sky. So I am just using my pencil and I'm just drawing uh, three different uh, shapes of um, clouds. They don't have to be perfect. Again, I am using my scissors to cut them out and I don't even have to use an eraser to uh, erase all those pencil lines since you can always use the back of them. After cutting them out, I'm just placing them on top of my panel, trying to decide where everything is going to go and now I can stick them down. I'm using my gel medium to stick everything down I am sticking the clouds and also I'm going to stick that uh, word that says spring. Coming out of uh, the orange balloon. I am also going to use my scissors and cut out the excess of uh, those clouds. And uh, I am going to assemble my card by sticking uh, the small panel on top of my background pattern paper. And now I'm going to stick that on top of uh, one of uh, the card uh, bases that I have created in the beginning. So let's move on to card number eight. Uh, now I am going to use uh, those uh, two pieces that are leftovers from previous cards. And I am going to cut out a line of all those bunnies which are so adorable and um, I am also going to use this uh, tag die and cut out uh, one tag out of this uh, leftover um, pattern paper and uh, this pattern paper on the back side is green and I am going to use one of those um, scalloped edge dies to cut out a slope. 
Now, as you can see, I am uh, being very frugal. The more I use the pattern papers, the less uh, of uh, full pattern papers I have. So I have uh, to find out creative ways of using all the leftovers. I'm using a white panel and I will be working on that. So I am going to create a little scene with uh, those cute bunnies which I am going to place them on, on top of that uh, grass. I'm going to create two different layers of grass there just to make it more interesting and I'm going to stick everything down by using a uh, foam tape. And again, if you don't have those scalloped edge dies, you can just use your scissors and create a curve and out of this uh, green pattern paper. Also, if you don't have that tag die, just uh, cut out a rectangle and use your scissors to cut out two corn to the two top corners. And as I am assembling this tag, I am going to answer to one of the questions that I get all the time. So how long did it take me to create those 10 cards? So I have created those 10 cards in two evenings. And if I have to count uh, uninterrupted time of creating those cards, it must have been about uh, four hours. And I did try to keep everything uh, quite simple and without using uh, supplies outside of the kit. Now out of this pattern paper, I'm going to cut out two of the strips, the one that is uh, yellow and the other one that's orange, and I'm going to use both of them to stamp my sentiment. For the sentiment, I'm going again with that uh, sentiment that says Happy Easter, and I have cut it out so I can stamp each word separately. I am going to stamp it with Versa marking and again apply white embossing powder for both those words. Once I have uh, heat set everything, I'm going to use my scissors and cut out fish tails at the end of those uh, strips of paper. And this is going to create beautiful little panels, which I'm just going to stick them down on uh, my tag by using some uh, tape adhesive at the back. I'm just placing one on top of the other. And of course, I am going to use my scissors and cut out the excess paper. And by using foam squares at the back, I'm just going to stick that on top of my tag. I am going to use my crocodile to punch a hole on the top of uh, my tag. And I'm also going to use this tool to attach an eyelet. So now my tag is ready. I am uh, going to... Um, do some fuzzy cutting again and I am I decided to fuzzy cut those uh, two cute bunnies because I think they are going to be adorable popping out behind that tag. You will see what I mean in a bit. So now that my tag is ready I'm going to thread some uh, uh, red and white uh, twine on top and I'm going to secure that on top of uh, one of the card bases. Now I am going to use some tape uh, adhesive at the back of uh, those uh, bunnies and I think that uh, they are really adorable and just make the card. So let's move on to card number 9. For this card I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper with those uh, easter eggs and I'm going to cut out a panel. Now I have uh, this uh, pink uh, pattern paper left over from a previous card which I am going to cut so that uh, I can create a panel that goes on top of those uh, easter eggs. You can leave it as it is or you can use an edge die if you have one. So I used two of those dies from uh, this uh, die set, the bigger and the smaller one and I have cut out two different edges, one out of this uh, pattern paper, the pink one, and one uh, just uh, by using uh, white cardstock. By using that white cardstock between uh, the, those two pattern papers is going to give uh, more uh, definition and it's going to separate them even better. So I'm going to stick one on top of the other and I will have uh, three different layers along with a little bit of dimension that I really love on my cards. And really this design works great if uh, you just leave uh, strips of paper there or you can uh, even use any type of edge uh, die that you have or uh, punches that you might have for edges. I'm just going to stick a banner that says Hopi Easter, again one of the sentiments from the stamp set. 
and my card is pretty much ready. I'm just going to stick that on top of one of the card bases that I have created. And let's move on to the last card for today. For my last card, again, I am going to use leftovers from previous cards. I am going to cut out a panel out of this uh, blue pattern paper. And I made sure that this is slightly smaller in length than a standard card. I have used one of the dies to cut out this uh, pip. And now I am going ahead and uh, white emboss the sentiment. For the sentiment on this, I'm going with a sentiment that says, you are my kind of peep. But after white embossing it, I decided that I didn't like it because it wasn't standing out of the pattern paper. So you'll see what I'll do at the end to correct that. I have created a window out of that by adding some uh, tape adhesive in the back along with some um, acetate. I'm applying a few of those uh, sequins that were included in the kit. I'm covering up the back of the window and I have my panel there ready. So out of uh, this adorable uh, pattern paper, I'm going to cut out two strips of paper for as borders for each one of the sides of my card. I'm just going to stick them down by using tape adhesive. And as I am sticking them down, I make sure that I leave a tiny little border showing from the back of uh, the card base. And again, the card base is one of those uh, card bases that I have created by using the cardstock that was included in the kit. I am sticking my window on top and my card is pretty much finished. I just need to do something with that uh, sentiment that doesn't pop. So I decided to just stamp the sentiment with black uh, ink on top of white cardstock. I'm just going to cut it out, create fist tails on both of uh, the ends and just stick it on top of uh, the failed um, sentiment there. So nothing uh, shows now. I am also going to stick some of the sequins scattered along uh, the card. And that finished the card, so let's uh, go ahead and see all the cards together along with the leftovers that I have. So here they are all together. I really had so much fun making them and I love the color combination. They really bring uh, spring to my craft room. So let's see the leftovers. Now this is the Distress Crayon that uh, I mentioned and um, if it was yellow I believe I would uh, use it. But just because it was uh, blue I couldn't find a use for it. And here are all my leftovers. I have uh, two big uh, pattern papers that I haven't used. Along with those two pattern papers that I can uh, certainly use on more cards. And here are some close-up photos of the cards. I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so, because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I made 10 different cards using previous card kits by Simon Says Stamp. Thank you all for watching!